Navigating student loans can be a bit stressful, but they're often lifesavers because they cover your tuition fees and living costs when you need it the most. Now, some loans even have perks like subsidized interest and grace periods, which makes repayment less overwhelming. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the best student loans you can get from College Ave and Sally Mae, what they offer, and I'll get into some of their pros and cons because understanding the different options out there is key to making smart decisions about funding your education and planning for the future. And by the end of this video, I'll do my best to leave you with a clear understanding of which are the best options when it comes to private student loans. And if at any point you decide to try either College Ave or Sally Mae, use the affiliate links that are down in the description. They won't cost you anything. And you might even get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to either of their websites. So without further ado, Let's jump right in. Okay, so first up is College Avenue, an online student loan portal that offers loans and other financial services for students. And by partnering with multiple banks, they offer a range of loan options to meet students' financial needs. All right, so what really makes College Ave stand out is that they allow students to pre-qualify using a soft credit check, which means you won't have to worry about your credit score being affected. They provide loans from $1,000 up to the full tuition coverage and offer refinancing options for for existing student debt. Additionally, the platform is rich with resources on scholarships and financial planning, making it a really comprehensive solution for navigating educational financing. Okay, so once you get pre-qualified, all the deals that you're approved for and that you can get will show up right there on the website. And it's only after you see your options will you go through the formal application, which will then do a hard credit check that will affect your credit score. So if you type in all the information right, you can see all your options really fast and without it negatively affecting your credit, which is something that not all other platforms offer. Now, as a private lender, College Ave offers both fixed and variable rate loans. And if you don't know the difference, a fixed rate loan gives you predictable and unchanging monthly payments. And at College Avenue, these start at 3.89%. But a variable rate, on the other hand, changes based on market conditions. And at College Ave, they start at 5.59%. Now, if you wanna qualify for a loan from College Ave, you have to be at least 16 years old. You have to have a social security number and be enrolled in an eligible school. And if you're an undergrad or an international student, you need to have a co-signer. However, if you're already eligible, it doesn't take more than about three or five minutes to check if you qualify and what rates you could possibly get. Then you're shown the types of loans you have access to, such as undergrad, graduate, career, parent, or refinancing your existing student loan. So after you choose your loan term and your APR or interest rate, and it gets approved by College Ave, they'll contact your school to confirm that you're enrolled or that you've been accepted. They just do this to make sure that you're not asking for more money than their cost of attendance is, and if you meet the school's academic progress guidelines. And if it all checks out, College Ave will send the money directly to the school. All right, let's shift gears and talk about the benefit of being financed through College Avenue. Okay, so along with having a pretty flexible terms, they'll also help you save on how much you pay on the lifetime total of the loan, starting off with making minimum payments while you're still studying. For example, if you're steady on your payments and pay them the minimum each month, even while you study, it shows them that you're responsible and that you take your loan seriously. And then they reward you by slightly lowering your interest rate terms, which really adds up over time. On the other hand, you can go for a deferred payment where you don't make any payments until six months after you finish school, but you'll end up paying more interest over the lifespan of the loan. So I mentioned the fixed and variable rates. And the reason I recommend College Ave is that they're all about students and getting you the best deal possible. They also have lower than average starting rates compared to other lenders in the industry, but their maximum rates are also much lower than averages for graduate students that want to pursue an MBA. And the maximum rate is 14.49% for both variable and fixed rates, but their loans are structured to help you pay off your student debt as fast as possible. So they encourage you to start paying while you're still studying. And those low starting rates are also there to help you get out of debt faster. And at this point, I just want to reiterate that if you decide that you want to try College App or Sally Mae, which we're about to talk about, use the affiliate links that I left down in the description. They won't cost you anything. And you might even get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to either of their websites. Okay, so the next company that I'm going to talk about is Sally Mae 
which offers a range of student loans for undergrads, grads, and career training with flexible options to suit different needs. Now, they're really known for their easy application process and really competitive rates. Plus, they provide great resources like financial literacy tools and scholarship options. And with options like deferred payments and interest-only plans while in school, managing your finances does become a bit easier. Now, if we compare them to College App, they've got fewer repayment options and even fewer choices for loan terms. And although they don't charge you any loan application fees, they don't have a pre-qualification process like College App does. So when you fill out their online application, it will affect your credit history. So it's best to check first and see if you qualify before you go through the entire process, just to make sure that it doesn't affect your credit score negatively for no reason. All right, so to apply, you'll need to give them your personal information and details about your school and the semesters you plan to get funded, as well as the total cost of attendance, such as all related expenses, including tuition, books, etc. but also stuff like meals, equipment, and which is information you can get from the school website generally. And just like College Ave and a lot of other lenders, your loan can can't be more than whatever your school has calculated as the total cost of attendance. But even if you can get approved with that one, you need to know that having a cosigner can get you lower interest rates. So it's really worth checking if a parent or other adult with good credit history would be willing to co-sign for you. Okay, so once you've filled in all these details, Sally Mae will give you a document called a loan application solicitation disclosure, with a pretty detailed breakdown of the rates, terms, and repayment plans that apply to you. If it works for you and you decide to go ahead, then Sally Mae works directly with your school to disperse the funds just like College App. Now, when it comes to loan terms or how long you have to pay the loan back, Sally Mae has fewer options than College App. They offer either 10 or 15 years for undergrad and career training loans, 15 years for MBA, law and graduate school loans, and 20 years for medical or dental loans. Their minimum loan amount is $1,000 and the maximum is 100% of your school certified expenses with a standard late payment fee of $25. Now, when it comes to repayment plans, you have three choices. You can pay interest or a set amount of $25 a month while you're still in school and during the six month grace period after you finish, or you can start paying after you finish studying and the grace period is up. Obviously, it's best to pay as much as you can while you're still studying if you're able to. That being said, the most important thing is the rate. And Sally Mae offers a bunch of different rates, but because I mentioned undergrad rates for College Avenue, let's see how Sally Mae compares in that respect. So for fixed undergrad rates, Sally Mae starts at 3.99%, which is a bit higher than College Ave, but it goes all the way up to 15.49%, which is still quite a bit lower than College Ave's highest rate of just shy of 18% at 17.99%. And when it comes to variable rates, Sally Mae starts at 5.37%, and their maximum rate is 15.7%, which is also quite a bit lower than College Ave, which starts at 5.59% and tops at 17.99%. And look, this might not seem like a big deal, but over the lifespan of your loan, it does add up. So to sum things up, choosing between College Ave and Sally Mae depends on your priorities and your needs. College Ave's really user-friendly approach makes it easy to navigate loan options and find the best fit for your needs. On the other hand, Sally Mae is renowned for its competitive rates and great support services, making it a solid choice as well. So whether you prioritize speed and flexibility with College App or lower rates with Sally Mae, both offer reliable paths to funding your education and hopefully achieving your academic goals. Okay, so that's it for this review. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you decide that you want to give either of these two lenders a try, check out the links that are down in the description. They don't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to either of their websites. And as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts and I'll try to get back to any questions or comments that you leave down below as fast as I can. And finally, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.